tired of being who I'm not Feels like I've given it a shot It leaves me empty and afraid When I step onto a stage Being who I'm not I pack my suitcase till it bursts Overflowing with my skirts The soles are coming off my shoes So many miles left to get through Being who I'm not Hello. And we're so glad to be here with you today. Um, we met, uh, for those of you who don't know who we are, we met at the University of Delaware many years ago. Um, we were literally um, teenagers when we met. We feel like in a lot of ways we've, we've really grown up together. And uh, we got married right after we graduated, so we got married very, very young. And um, we had this awesome uh, premarital counselor and uh, she actually, she made us come for extra sessions. And uh, she, it was basically, she kind of said to us, I'm not saying you shouldn't get married, but I think you should come a couple more times. And, um, and it was good. She had us do, like, talk through a lot of really important things. And um, at one point, she asked us to make a budget. Um, and specifically, she wanted us to make um, a grocery budget. So she asked us to actually go to the grocery store together, um, see 
how much food actually costs and come up with with just an idea. And um, on our way there, Tyler said to me, um, he said, now I don't want you to consider me at all when we are looking at groceries. I just want you to think about what you would get. And I remember thinking, okay. And I said, well, well, why? And he said, well, because I'm just going to eat pancakes. And um, throughout college and throughout Tyler's life, he's been just kind of like a very extreme person. And so in college, he would buy those bags of just add water crusties, like pancake mixes. You could get them at like Costco for $5 or something. So he would buy those bags and just add water and, and eat that pretty exclusively um, as a way to save money in college. And, and I was like, I, I don't think that's how it's supposed to work anymore. Like, I think we're supposed to have food and, and dinner together. And um, eventually, I think we, you know, we talked that out with our premarital counselor and came to the agreement that we should probably eat together. Um, <laughs> but Tyler, we have, we've had a lot of moments like that and, you know, and harder things too um, throughout our, our time together. And um, Tyler has definitely mellowed out since then. We've had a, a variety of diets in our house, but lately things are pretty normal. Um, and uh, this song we're going to play, it's, I, I wrote it from the perspective of having grown old together. Uh, we have three little girls, and this would be kind of from the perspective of ha them having grown up and had their own kids, and us just kind of looking at life and saying, hey, this was pretty awesome. Um, and it's called, a, it's called A Boy and a Girl. Yours is the voice that calls me home and when you sing i can't help but sing along you say my name and i feel different feels like the girl in me is waking up Thank 
you guys. Well, uh, we write songs about our kids and each other and uh, the Lord and uh, family members and friends. This is a, a friendship love song. A friendship love song called uh, Walk With You. When trouble comes a calling and ain't nobody left hanging around, you've been pacing day and night through the mazes of a melancholy mind and you feel like screaming out loud but for fear you're not letting out a sound when you think nobody gonna listen when you're down you got to know I will I will walk I will walk with you walk you through that darkness all around us is a cruel crippling hand and I know I can't really know your sorrow but I can try 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 to understand and you feel like dawn's a distant dream And you fear there won't be light enough to see When you need somebody to help navigate these streets You got to know I will I will walk I will walk with you The dark can't win. Hold on now, hold my friend. It won't disappoint you. Don't give in. Don't you now open your hands? Hold them out. The broken can mend out here in the daylight. Got to know I will, I will, I will, I will, I will walk with you. Thank you, guys. This is a divine love song. It's called Song for You. You didn't know, you didn't know 
I called, you had to go, had to go back to your little world where nothing is strange. You set out on your own, on your own. You said, I'm heading home, I'm heading home, back to the life you know, neatly arranged. I have done for you everything, my love, hear my song. Getting cold, getting cold. You try to keep warm, but you're alone, you're alone. The dark streets are empty now, the wind starts to blow. Now this is a this is a romantic love song. It's called uh, "I'm Gonna Love You to the End." You got those patient eyes. Got that welcome smile. You got that consoling light shining through. I want to give all of me to you. I'm going to love you. I'm going to love you. I'm going to love you to the end. I'm gonna love you, I'm gonna love you, I'm gonna love you to the end. I 
got that loyal heart Forgiven when it's so hard Don't you forget who you are Keep the truth Myself to you. I'm gonna love you, I'm gonna love you, I'm gonna love you to the end. I'm gonna love you, I'm gonna love you, I'm gonna love you to the end. I'm gonna love you, I'm gonna love. that we have we have little girls we write about a lot of different things you know we write about divine love we write about our relationship we write about our kids and um i I write about motherhood a good bit because i'm kind of in the throes of it right now um and there's so many amazing things about it and then there are hard things too and um when our youngest who's she's now one and a half when she was about two months old um i was up with her in the night and i um I had a seizure while I was feeding her, which is not, like having seizures for me is not a new thing, but having one with my kid was a new thing. Um, and uh, thankfully I was able to set her down and she was she was fine. Um, but I went from being a pretty uh, just even person, like not someone who dealt with much anxiety or worry, um, to someone who I was suddenly, I, I was bombarded with it, and I was started having panic attacks, and I couldn't leave my house. I couldn't be around my kids by myself. Um, I couldn't be with Mary, and um, it was a really, uh, really new thing for me and a, and a really difficult thing, and I started uh, going uh, through a trauma therapy for basically for PTSD called EMDR, and if you're someone out there struggling with something like this, I can't recommend this this therapy enough. Um, for me, it really, really, uh, it was, it was really helpful, very successful. Um, but during, throughout that time of, of therapy, I would, uh, go to this coffee shop in the mornings before I would go do an EMDR and I'd journal. And I remember writing over and over again, things like, I just didn't want this to be my story. Like, I just, I didn't want this to be part of it. And, um, one morning I, w- I was writing and I don't know why I thought to do this, but um, my middle name is Francis, and I um, 
I never, it's a family name, so it's after my great-grandfather, and so I'd always just thought of it as being his name, and I hadn't thought to, like, look up the meaning of it, and since we've um, had children, we're always, like, thinking about name meanings when you're naming your kids, and so I looked it up, and I was, I was sitting there, and I was just absolutely floored, because Francis means free one, and um, throughout all that time, I'd just been feeling like this had been placed upon me, something I hadn't chosen, and I wanted to be free from it. And um, I wear this necklace that's a key that says free on it, and I have all these different things I wear that say free or freedom. And I had no idea that it was like actually a part of me, um, that my name meant free one. Um, so it was a really powerful moment. And uh, I wrote a song from that. And uh, just about the, the freedom that you can have um, in Christ from all of this. And I know that talking about anxiety and mental illness isn't like a, a fun thing. But I think that there are so many people who are walking through it. Um, and uh, so hopefully this song, too, will remind you that you're not alone in that. Come now, free one. Come and rest. don't have to run away. Come into my arms. Stay. Be free from wandering. Free to have a so much. Um, we often talk about justice at some point in um, our, throughout our musical set when we play uh, at large things, small things, um, if we have the opportunity. So we found out about a lot of great organizations in college doing really cool things um, like providing clean water and um, medical um, supplies and uh, res people rescuing um, slaves from slavery and uh, feeding, um, feeding the poor and things like that. And we, uh, 
we found ourselves getting genuinely zealous about those causes, but uh, but we we found also um, this tendency in ourselves to to grow apathetic uh, after a time, um, to get zealous and then to um, to lose that zeal. So, wrote a song to fight that um, because I I believe there's um, there's such a connection between justice done in love and and know, actually knowing God. Um, Jeremiah twenty two sixteen says. He defended the cause of the poor and needy, and it was well. Is not this to know me, declares the Lord. Um, so this is our fight song, and it's called Faint Not. The problem is not a gun, not a color, not a hundred dollar bill. The struggle can be won with simple thoughts like come together, be goodwill. The gap between the rich and poor is spreading out all the more who so and they say we ignore the claim. Oh, my soul, faint not. No.
kiss me softly, brush back my hair. I look deep into your eyes. I loved you then. Ooh, wrote us a story. Ooh, found us a song. Every morning, waves crashing on the shore, I feel buried in the sand. When my face pressed against your chest. Setting fast, made the light dance on our seas. We were just kids, but I knew you were it for me. Now we're growing up together. Now we're changing together. I love you then. I love you now. I love you. story Ooh, found us a song starts every Thank you guys. We uh, got a couple more for you. This is a uh, this is one that we wrote for our girls. Um, having having little girls, it's it's awesome. We have a lot of. I feel like there's a lot of emotional drama already happening in our house, and they're only five, three, and one. And uh, I don't know this one. I don't. We don't know if it's a boy or a girl. We'll see. We'll see what happens. We could end up with like a whole lot, more, even more drama. But it's it's. It's amazing. They have really big emotions. And I feel like part of life is just learning at all ages how to express your emotions in a way that is, you know, appropriate. Because we always want, I never want our kids to feel like emotions are bad. But you do have to learn how to, you know, how to handle them, how to express them. And um, our oldest, Jane, uh, in particular, is just, she's she's a performer. She's basically like a little Tyler. And um, we were in a coffee shop a while back. And she turns around to the guy standing in line behind us and just began to passionately serenade him with Let It Go from Frozen. And she was like all in, too. She was doing hand motions and kind of like trying to do the magic and like looking into his eyes. And he was like, OK. Um, and I know that at some point, Jane's going to have to learn that that's not just a normal thing to do, you know? But I do kind of hope that it takes a little while um, because I think it would be amazing to just live life like that, you know, to live life as freely as Jane does and to really believe in yourself. You know, she hasn't, she experienced for the first time this last week um, 
realizing that someone was saying something about her that wasn't kind. And um, it was the first time she ever experienced that, like really from a stranger, from a stranger She's realized experienced that. it from her sister quite a bit. Well, but, yeah. uh. <laughs> you know, but realizing someone who didn't know her was like making a judgment and saying something that wasn't kind. And it really affected her. And um, I, you know, and that just, that's really kind of the heart of this song too, is that we don't want our kids to feel that way. We don't ever want them to feel hurt or, or alone or afraid. And the reality that we're learning, you know, that we learned even more just a week ago is that we can't, we can't protect them from everything. And our hope is that we can teach them to know who they are, and that they are loved and how to, uh, make, re- make good decisions and, and walk with them through those hard things um, through the hard places of, of realizing someone said something that wasn't nice about you and you're five and it, it's, it's a big it's deal. Yep. Um, so this is a song for our girls. It's called in everything you do. I wish that I could keep you from pain But like a storm Pain will form So I'll teach you how to face it To be weak yet strong in grace I wish that I could keep you from fear but like the night fear will rise so I'll hold till love suffices to drive far the dark devices and behold a world that's full of wonder Full of laughter, full of life A world that pulls you under With the turning of the tides In everything you do A choice of life, a death to choose And we will try to show you love I wish that I could keep you from doubt But like the waves, doubts will raise So I'll sail with you through troubled seas Until we find a gentler breeze And behold So full of wonder, full of laughter, and full of life. The world it pulls you under with the turning of the tides. In everything you do, a choice of life or death to choose. And we will try to show you love.
Thank you. We've got one more for you. Um, man, this has been really fun. Thank you, guys. Thanks mm -hmm. for coming. This is like a almost exclusively all-girl audience, except for we've got two guys over here. Um, <laughs> so I don't know what that means, but I'm glad I'm glad to just be here with you. And actually, I'm just I'm really used to girls because that's what I live with. <laughs> um, so. This is, uh, this last one is a celebration song. Uh, it's a song about the beauty of grace, of the grace of God. And, uh, and so I mentioned that, that one way that we, um, we can get to know God better, uh, briefly mention this, is, is to um, seek justice, to act justly, and to love mercy. Um, I believe they are ways to walk humbly with God. Um, those three things are connected. And... Um, and this song is uh, is a celebration of really the 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 way that we we first come to God. Um, I believe those things are secondary. This is a a, a prerequisite for um, for those things. And I, and I do believe that God meets us in so many so many different ways, um, with the ultimate purpose of drawing him uh, drawing us to His Son, uh, Jesus. And so this is a song about um, understanding. Uh, at a, at a few different points in my life, um, what the what the cross and the resurrection um, meant for me, um, that there there uh, could be freedom, um, and there could be uh, yeah freedom from from sin for sure, but also from the guilt of that uh, and. And so this, I, I have a few few memories that come up while I sing this song. One is when I was 15, and um, and I first heard about Jesus in a way that I was uh, able to understand. Um, it, made, it made sense to me that that I uh, needed somebody to um, to pay for uh, all that the. the the things that I've done that, that are evil and that were evil and that will be evil, um, that I can't pay for that myself. Um, but, but actually the more, um, direct memory that, that comes, um, to mind during this song is this, this moment in college where my friend and I were skateboarding through campus. Uh, Jenny and I met at the University of Delaware and my friend Joey and I would, uh, would have these, these uh, late night skates where we would just like, I don't know, have a bunch of fun skating and then like beat each other up a little bit and then pray and then like repeat, you know. And it was just like great, great bonding time. Um, but I remember feeling like, like I had to confess something to my brother, Joey, my brother in Jesus. And that um, it was really weighty and it was like if I didn't confess it, then it was going to have power over me. And, um, and it was going to mean that, that I wasn't uh, letting the cross and the resurrection really uh, define my life. So, so I remember doing that, uh, confessing um, a, a certain uh, evil that I had done. And, um, and I just remember the freedom of that and the grace that was there and uh and it was it was amazing so that's what this song is about it's called this is just so beautiful a little sparrow is serenading me brand new melodies song so sweet the roses aroma is flying in the breeze I close my eyes breathe in deep yesterday is gone today I can see oh today I can see my 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 for the very first time, I wave goodbye, bye, bye to what used to weigh me down. Oh, my, 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 
Everything's alright. The sun is shining down. I'm looking all around, and this is just so beautiful. This is just so beautiful. I felt forgiveness in the deep recesses of my soul. I was so empty. Now I'm full. I am whole. The world is cold and so very, very cruel. But the, the sparrow and the roses remind me there's still so much good. Yesterday is gone. Today I can see. Oh, today I believe. My, my, my. For the very first time, I waved goodbye, bye, bye to what used to weigh me down. Oh, my, my, my. Everything's alright. The sun is shining down. I'm looking. This is just so beautiful. Time. 